All right, so today I am going to talk a little bit about the issue of spraying and using pesticides in your greenhouse or on your garden, um, or basically for anyone in aquaponics. You know, this is this is definitely a touchy subject. A lot of folks say you don't need to use pesticides in your greenhouse. They're full of it. Uh, the reality is, is that you know, if you have a greenhouse that's getting hot real regularly, you're going to have aphids, you're going to have white flies, you're going to have thrips, you're going to have something in there that is uh, feeding on your crops and unless you've got some kind of control method in place you won't be able to take care of the problem. So a lot of folks end up using biocontrols and they say all you need is biocontrols, a good biocontrol uh, regimen. The reality is, is that uh, biocontrols provide good background control. However, if for some reason you have an outbreak, you have uh, a lot of aphids get going, a lot of white flies explode, thrips, whatever your problem is. Once you have those pests just kind of blow up, biocontrols are absolutely worthless. Absolutely worthless. So, in that scenario, you need to be using some type of pesticide. Um, so, in this greenhouse, we use several different types of pesticides. And the reason for that is that uh, if you're just using one type of pesticide, Essentially, your pests will build up a resistance. Aphids are the worst. You can, if you're just using one thing, um, eventually they will become resistant. So I've talked with people, they're just like, oh yeah, I use this one control, it works great, I don't have need to use anything else. And I say, well, how long has it been working for you? And they say, oh well, I've been spraying with, uh, you know, this or with uh, Azimax or whatever for two years now, and it's taken care of the problem, I don't have any issues, there's no reason to use anything else. So well, enjoy the two years you've got because it's not going to last a whole lot longer. And once they build resistance, uh, that particular pesticide isn't going to be as effective on those pests anymore. So for that reason, it's really important to use multiple types of pesticide. So we are an organic greenhouse, or we uh, kind of sell ourselves as using organic production techniques. So we use only OMRI uh, certified. You always see the OMRI. Uh, label on the uh, on the uh, control. Um, we are OMRI products, that's all we basically use in here, which is somewhat limiting but it's what our customers want. Um, and we spray at least once a week, if not twice a week, with at least one of these products. So um, we use several different products in our greenhouse and we do uh, four or five different types of products just to make sure that a resistance isn't being built up against any one. And so long as we're rotating, we get good control, we get good kills uh, really regularly. So the first um, couple ones that we use are pyrethrin-based products. So this is Pyganic, and uh, then of course we use a safer product called Endol. And uh, both of these are really great products. They really knock the bugs out. They're pretty uh, high quality controls. Now you do want to go kind of easy on these. In aquaponic systems, I warn you, just because we use it does not mean you can use it. So I'm going to do probably a little ebook a little bit later where I show you how to do the calculations to figure out how much of this can go into your system without harming your fish. Um, and that is a calculation you must, must, must do before you consider using a pyrethrin product. Because this stuff is really toxic to fish. So please, uh, you know, check out our website. Uh, once, once I can get that ebook up, um, you know, definitely check it out and figure out um, what your system can tolerate. It's an important thing to know. Um, it's just a little too complicated to try and do a YouTube video. Um, so we use pyrethrin products. We also use a product called Mycotrol. Okay, this is a biocontrol. This is uh, Bovaria bassiana. It's a fungal spore. And the nice thing about this stuff is on soft-bodied insects it will land and it will actually mechanically destroy the insect. It, it builds a little infection peg. It grows this infection peg and mechanically penetrates the insect and grows inside of it, kills it. So this is nice because it's harder for them to build up a resistance to a mechanically destructive agent like this. Um, it just takes a lot more time and it does work pretty darn good so long as you're using it in rotation. We also use another product called Azimax. Okay, this essentially kind of, um, it's called an anti -feedant. and what it does is it causes the insects to have a harder time feeding or to, it slows their feeding. So their life cycle gets slowed down and gives you time to hammer them with other things. Um, it is also, you know, 
it, it can kill the insects. It, it can mess with their uh, growth and their life cycle. The nice thing about this stuff, okay, and you, you shouldn't be just using this stuff all by itself. You should have another product on hand that you're using. But the nice thing about it is that this stuff is super safe for fish. Now I say that, make sure uh, you do the calculations, make sure you're still not adding too much to your system or getting too much in there. Um, but essentially, this is uh, one of the most fish friendly insecticides for an aquaponic gardener. Um, we also use some neem oil, and I don't have a bottle of it out here, but we just use a standard Monterey uh, neem oil. Azimax, this azaduractin, that's what the active ingredient in this is. It's actually one of the active ingredients in neem oil. So all they've done is they've taken neem oil and they've taken this azadractin product out of it, concentrated it for spraying. So again, on all of these, for aquaponic gardeners in particular, you need to do the calculations. <laughs> Please just do not go adding this stuff, spraying it willy-nilly in your system. So uh, check out our ebook um, for some basic calculations you can do for different um, insecticides to figure out how much is safe to spray because you need to know that. This stuff is really safe for humans but as all of us know um, fish are just the wimpiest critters in the world when it comes to chemicals in the water. Great thanks for watching and uh, if you want more information on this subject check out our website. Also uh, check out our other video on biocontrols um, that's, that just basically covers the, the in insects and all of kind of the friendly uh, stuff that we use in here to, to provide background control for insects. Uh, feel free to ask us questions and uh, if you enjoy this video and other videos like it, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.